Hi there, Diane Evans here with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So if this is your first time joining me, I'm so glad that you did find me. And if you're joining me on YouTube, if you like this video and, and any of the other sort of topics that I do cover, make sure that you give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's actually a dragonfly down in the corner if you're viewing on YouTube, and you can just hit there and that takes you right to the subscribe button. So today we are going to make, it's called a bay window card and we're using this beautiful Plentiful Plants bundle. Remember when you buy a bundle, um, you save 10% and trust me, you know, I wasn't, when I first saw this one, I went, nah, it's okay. But you know what? It sure grew on me and it grew on me fast. Let me tell you, the designer series paper is gorgeous i wish i had like i've used so much of it that i can't even show you all the different pieces but the beauty of this also is all these different cutout designs that you can cut out some you can cut out with the dies some of them you can't but you have all these that you could make and i that was only basically a half a sheet that i've gone and cut all those out with so we're going to be making our card mainly with this these cutouts so this can be found on page 80 and 81 of the annual catalog. So we're going to be using these. We're also going to, because I take this bay window card a step further. Um, I was, um, I had taught for my free online class that I do every Tuesday night. I had taught a bay window card. And I have to say, I've taken this inspiration from Marjorie and from um, Kathy. Kathy has done the bay window up a notch where I took mine another notch to that and of course Marjorie had done it with these um this beautiful bloom where you're planted designer series paper so I will show you what I'm doing with it this is the card that I'm making today and you can see um the beauty of this one is that it looks great when it's closed and then when it's open it sits like this but it's like we're looking in through a bay window so I've even taken it this way where we've got the bay window where we can look in through there and through there. So this is the card that we're going to make. And then I have all my supplies here and I've cut out some of the stuff and some of the stuff I couldn't cut out. So the unfortunate part is we have to kind of go along with what we've got and what we don't have and um, we'll just see what we can do with this, right? So now what we need to do and... I just have to grab it. I completely forgot to grab it. Oops. And that is my paper trimmer because we have to do some scoring with this particular one. I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way so that you can see all of this stuff. So I have a, a piece of soft succulent cardstock and it's four and a quarter by 11 inches. And you need to do some scoring on here. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start scoring. Um, all these measurements will be on my blog. And it will also be linked um, down below um, this YouTube channel. So what we're going to do is we are going to score at... Um, let's see. We're going to take this and we're going to score at 3 eighths. So 3 eighths is... This is the half inch, there's three eighths there. So I'm just scoring off of this side. And the reason I'm scoring off that side, it's easier to score the shorter side that way. And now I'm just turning it, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the scoring. So now you also wanna score at one and seven eighths, which is right there. Let me just bring that there. And we're going to score at three and five eighths. We have to find out where the half inch mark is. Three and five eighths. Five and an eighth. And also at five and a half. And that's all the scoring that there is. So let me just move my trimmer out of the way. So when you have this like this, you're going to do your first fold like so. And you want to make sure that you've got it a really good folds on here. So we're going to use our bone folder. 
Then what we're going to do is this part here is going to come back. So we're just going to make sure there's a good fold. Then we're just going to score this way, right on the score lines. Then we're going to score this way. Then I'm going to score this one coming back onto itself. Now, if you haven't got this right on the first time round, that's no big D. Now, you know what? Have I done this for it? Okay, so it's like this. It's like that. This is going to come like this. This is the bay window part. And then this is going to be the part that hooks up underneath. So that's the way that it's going to go. Just like that. So now what I want to do is I have my um, stitched rectangle dies. And I am going to go and I'm going to use these with my little cut and emboss. And I'll just bring that in. And you know what? I don't think I can do it with my little one. No, I can't. I'm gonna have to bring in my big cut and emboss and I'm gonna have to show you how I've um, gone ahead to put my bay windows in there. All right, so the big cut and emboss. I thought I could have gotten it through, but it's, it's not, it's just too thick. All right, so. The first one that I want to do is I want to do the center one. And the reason being is then I can then I can um, take the two outer ones, like this one and this one, and get it so that I know where it's going to go exactly. So I'm coming in there, and I'm just coming in with my post-it note tape. We're just going to do that, and we're going to run that through. Now, I could have done them both at the same time, but I just find that... This way I have more control over where those windows are actually gonna go. All right, so we have the first one through. I'm just gonna bring this back. And then let's just take this off. There we go. And then we're just going to go in and put this one here. I want to make sure it's right in the middle, but also middle this way. So I'm going to use that post-it note tape again. And then let's just run that one through there. This is a well-loved plate, that's for sure. You know, I'm just going to come back because it makes it just so much easier for the video itself. So we'll just take that off. Pop this part out. And I guess we could use that for something, so maybe I shouldn't be so rough with that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the inside on this one. We're going to get that even top and bottom and also in the middle of this and again i'm just using that post-it note tape and run that through and like i say this is actually giving me the actual bay window where all the other cards that are out there that i have seen anyways are just the shape of that bay window so let me just move this out of the way Oh, we're having issues <laughs> oh my goodness okay so let's just take this take this one off and now I'll just take this out not that we need any of these but these at least could be used for something else later all right so now like I say we've got the bay window that it's going like this, we're going to go back and score there. And then, like this, then back down, 
and then up this way. All right, so now I have from this, oh, and it's such a shame to cover this side up. I love this side of the designer series paper, but we're just going to go and put this brick background. There's also another really, really nice brick background, but I've used all that up. So thank heavens we have our designer series paper sale. Like I say, it's at 15% off, and what a great time to buy it is when it is at the 15% off. So I'm just actually going to... This is supposed to be at five and a quarter. I mean, yeah, five and a quarter by four inches. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my tear and tape right along here. So let's just put this in here like this. Come in with your take your pick tool. And we'll just put this up like this. All right. So now this is just going to go right in there like so. And again, I'm, I'm making sure that I have a really good score on here because it's just going to make that whole card look 100% better. I think we can score that just a little bit more. There we go. And score that one a little bit more as well. There we go. All right. There we go. All right, so now what we can do is we can, this is going to go here, but we've got a bunch of these other things, these other images and different things that we can put together. Now on this particular die, it has this macrame thing. So I've done this, I've cut this macrame out, I cut it out of crumb cake, but I also ran it through the macrame embossing folder. I just thought that added a little bit more and made it look more like, in, like, a macrame hanger and then this is a piece that has been um, cut out just from that designer series paper like I say this cards quite a fussy card so if you were going to do an awful lot of the stamping for one they don't have this many of the plans in the stamp set and this way it kind of just gives you um, lots of different plants and it makes it so it's a tiny bit easier than stamping and cutting out but you still have to cut this out unfortunately this one had to be cut out by hand all right so we have that there we have let's see what else have we got this is going to go down here just to give some greenery so I'm just going to leave that I'm going to go ahead and I know where this is going to go so Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll put this one on first. I think that's one of the better ones to put on. Um, and then we can go from there. So let's go ahead and put that on. And, you know, because it's, it's working like this is like an easel, I am going to double dimensionalize this. What a great word, right? Double dimensionalize. So... that one off and then now we can put the dimensions the double dimensions on top of here they don't stick very well without um, taking the backing off so and yeah if I know exactly where this one's going it'll be a lot easier to do the rest of the card all right And this is just going to go right like so. And by that, like I say, that's going to keep that part of it opened. Okay, so we have that there. I have this. I have this part here. Now, let's see. This part right here, I'm going to actually put, this is a die cut, and this is cut from the Evening Evergreen. And I'm going to put it onto this pot. I think it adds a little bit more onto the pot. So you can see I've used, I'm using a tiny bit of the stamp set, not very much. I'm using the dies, and I'm using the Designer Series paper. So I'm just going to put this down here like this. 
And I'm going to go in and just sort of trim that off. Just going to trim this part off and this part as well. And I found that I this um, white down here, it didn't, it bothered me to begin with, but because it's going against this white part here, it didn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. If this wasn't cut out ahead of time, it would have been a lot more time on the video. So we've got this. Let's go ahead and let's put this about here. We want it so that it's going to show some of the portion is going to show when this is closed, we want to be able to see some of the plants, right? So there's going to be that. Then I have the snake plant and we're going to put that into one of these. Now I cut these out with the dies. So let's go and put the snake plant. We'll just put that there. You know, I hadn't seen one of these in years until I, my son and daughter-in-law have one. And it looks just gorgeous in their house. Okay, so I've got that one ready. So let me put some dimensionals on the back of this one. We're going to pop all these plants up from the back. Because um, I want them to look like dimension from behind the window as well. Now I don't know if this is going to be... No, that's too big. So I'm actually going to come in and take a strip of this off. Use that on this part. That might even be too big. Hopefully that's okay. Yep, that's okay. We've got that on the back of that. And this piece here, I don't think I need it popped up, but I just want it to be kind of right here. So it's, so I'm going to just take this like this and then I'm going to trim that off. So let me just bring in my snips and I'm just going to trim off that part right like that. And then I'm going to lay that right on there with the liquid glue as well. This was such a fun card to make. And relatively simple, really, when you start thinking of how it all goes together. So I'm just going to put that down below. I'm going to check to make sure that that's going to sit in my window. Yeah, it'll sit in my window. And I guess I could have popped that up. I probably should have popped it up a little bit. So, you know what? I'm going to take, and I don't know if this is going to stick because I had the glue behind there. Sometimes these dimensionals don't stick to the glue. So let's just put that part up so it gives a bit of a look okay so there we go there now what else have I got here I've got another one of these this is like a succulent so I'm going to put that on with succulents are usually in low dishes right stick that right below there so much glue on my hands just like that. Bring that right about there. And we're also going to put that on with dimensionals as well. So one there. And I think I can put one of the lower, one down lower here, so. So now we can start putting all of the rest of this together. So, so now that that's good and glued, I'm going to actually glue it there. And I'm going to use a glue dot to put on either side of the, um, of the window itself. So let me just go in with my glue dots. Use a glue dot up at the top here. And we're going to use glue dots, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue dot and we're going to squish it because we don't want that showing and we don't want it sticking out. So I want just a bit of that glue dot there. And we're going to do the same on the other side, but I'm going to put that on once I've got this in. So this is going to go up there. It's 
going to glue there. And we're just going to put a tiny bit of a glue dot right on this piece here. So I've got it squished. And then it's just going to go on there. There we go. All right. So starting to take form. All right. So let's go ahead and take this part off. Let's see, where's, where's that other piece that I had? I had another piece that was like this. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and put that down. So we want that to be, this is going to be right about there. So we can put that right about there. Let's check that out before I really stick it down. Yep, there's a good spot for it. And then I'm going to put this succulent up here. This is like we're looking into a terrarium, right? Or we're looking into a solarium, I guess is actually the word to use. There we go. So there's our, our bay window. I'm going to go put the snake plant right down at the bottom down here. You know, I'm going to leave that until I get the thank you card. Um, I'm just going to come in with my paper piercing mat. And I've got the thank you from this stamp set right here. They've got some beautiful words here. Um, you could go to a dear friend. You could do a lot of that sort of stuff. But I think this would look... The thank you and I'm just going to use my evening evergreen and, I'll just put that there. and then I'm just going to come and I'm going to now I've got all this glue on here I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut this part out and when you fussy cut, you always want to make sure that you move the paper. You don't move your um, scissors. Because if you move your scissors, you're going to get uneven and jerky kind of cuts. And also it's harder. I'm just going to cut that off. Also, it's harder to actually cut into those different um, spots. And a lot of times, all you have to do is on this part is just move the paper a bit and it just gives that look like you've actually gone and fussy cut exactly all the way around so there we go all right so there's that and we're going to put the thank you right there so i'm going to come in with the mini dots the mini dimensionals and i'm going to put one here and one on the other side and then that's going to allow me to know exactly where it goes so see when this card is closed it looks like um, it's full of plants right so let's just go and put this on here and then I'm going to come back in with my snake plant and just put that one right down on here. So there's my card there. I hope you like it. If you do, give me the thumbs up. If you have any questions, by all means, um, ask away. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear your comments on there. If you um, live in Canada, here's another thing. If you live in Canada, I'd love to be your demonstrator if you don't have one already. Um, I have a very generous reward program. And with that reward program, um, I also give out for anybody that does um, or anybody that um, puts an order in, I have tutorials that I give away for free. Also, another thing is, is um, that um, you get to be a part of my VIP group where you see different types of videos and that sort of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, give me the thumbs up and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.